Hey, how's it going today? It's Thomas Steed here. Just wanted to do a video uh, real quick. We're actually going to take a look at a pair of boots that I did a video on way, way, way back. Let me scoop my, back, my seat back here. Oh, yeah. Is that better? I think it is. You can actually see me now. Uh, and most of the video. This pair. I've cleaned them. I've shined them. I've worn them. They became the, uh, the boots for mowing the lawn and, you know, picking up dog schmutt and what. And yeah, so uh, I, I did a little bit already, if you've noticed. I, I already did cut the, uh, the uh, harness strap off there. And I started getting into popping a seam here for the hill cap before my wife said, hey, what are you doing? Like, you should probably video that and put it online for, you know, all your viewers to watch. So I said, well, you're absolutely right. I, I probably should. So that's what we're doing right now, guys. So before we get too far into it, like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section. There's probably a donation link if I'm not too lazy yet to drop it in there. And if you feel so courteous, donate to me. I'd appreciate it. I got five kids. Anything helps. Here's a knife. So let's start. Now I'm going to come in here being, you know, relatively careful not to, uh, well, either A, cut myself or damage the leather too much because even though I hate these boots, the leather's not the worst. Um, in some spots on it, I can still get some use out of it. Choke up on this knife a little bit better. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing it on camera. I ain't got the best setup here. As you guys have noticed, the uh, the backdrop to my videos has has changed to uh, inside of a vehicle, and uh, that's because, uh, as I stated in the last video where I made mention of it, inside of that house is like wild house, and uh, I'm just not been able to uh, functionally find the time to do videos like I need. So as you can see, this is where, where I'm at. It's working right up there. Now I'm going to continue work around the outside of this looking inside so far though. Right here, if you can see in there, there's definitely something glued in. And it's looking to me like that's probably going to be um, a piece of fiber, fiber board or something right there in that minimal entry level of hill counter that you see in pretty much everything that comes out mass produced these days and technically I guess maybe my hawk bill may be a better suited knife for what I'm doing here you know pop and stitch maybe not because this one is it's got that really nice thin profile it really gets in there without having to worry about the tip doing something I'm not expecting it. Like with that hawk bill, that hawk bill, it grabs material and it cuts it, even if you don't want it to. And uh, that's good in certain applications, but when you're trying to do detail work, this is actually one of those points in times that. I could definitely see one of those little, little cool fancy scalpels that, you know, uh, Weston at Rose Anvil has. Those, that would be a nice little thing to 
to get. I'm sure I'll locate one while I'm getting all the rest of my leather working stuff coming through here. I haven't done really much for leather working working since I was a kid. It was just something I'd done as kind of a hobby. Um, used to have Tandy Leathers down there in Utah when I lived in Utah. And it was the first place that I ever, you know, really got into doing any of that, like, leather work. It was something that my, my uncle, the one who owned these boots, was into. He liked making just, like, little, little decorative projects and knickknacks and stuff like that and so I learned how to make dream catchers and um, how to emboss leather and dye it so really my real basic early leather working stuff that was all between my uncle and my dad that I learned all of, all of that but it used to be a, a real fun trip that we'd take would be to go to Tandy Leather and I'd pick out like a little bit of stuff to make my make another dream catcher or you know maybe tie up a necklace or something while I was doing like a road trip or just even practicing with uh, like a wood burner I think I might have even gotten my first wood burner at tandy leather even though i don't don't quote me on that i i don't i don't remember exactly if that's where i'd gotten my first wood burning kit but it may have been because i do remember uh using it a couple of times to you know experimenting with you know using it in conjunction with embossing little pieces of leather little decorative coasters is a you know eight years old whatever making coasters just as you do so we've got this fully separated let's kind of try and peel this back take a look at it synthetic let's see how that's constructed in there but yeah so that's we we know that about this boot so i guess our two most important things to really know about the boot is where the uh how the hills constructed there with the uh it is not does not get my stamp of approval for uh, materials that are resistant to wear and tear. I'm actually just going to take see if I can split right down this. Oh, I can't remember if it's considered a butt seam or butted seam but that's what i'm going to call it because it's a seam that those two panels are butted together and stitched together very very easy to split that seam right there now let's see that since i was able to get in that far i wonder if it's going to take to just, uh, literally, yeah, you can probably get a couple more, just like that, go back, 
I mean, there there is a uh, fabric backing behind behind that butt seam and that's what is giving it a little bit more rigidity but hey i'm still able to just tear your guys's boot apart milwaukee motorcycle company so even though i didn't buy this boot my uncle did i'd already done my previous video talking about how much i really was not a fan of the way that this boot wore and uh the just the general build of it and so what i'm doing now is recycling because as much as i don't like the boots i don't mind the leather you know it's not the worst leather it's definitely not the best leather but it's seems to be at least better grade than what I've got in my pocket for my little wallet slit thing so if you guys remember me ever showing that little handmade thing I uh, put together um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing an upgrade on that I'm gonna use some sections off of this boot to to do that and then just like with the other side you can take right in side of here let's pop one two three and I'll just come back literally just with this and just lightly come right along that stitch line. Oh, wow actually came off of the stitch line and tore the leather. You better try and not do too much of that. Pull that right on. That is satisfying! Right there. <clears throat> On the inside of where I've just split up the side, there's a seam right here where it's also st stitched right there on the back. There's little pull tabs. Why am I still in the leather pull tabs? I don't know, I might end up putting them on a different boot or something. If I got I've got them. I can use them. I'm that. That might end up being something that I maybe use that as a belt loop. I mean, it's already it's already pretty well prepped to to be such. I mean, I just have to take and flip that maybe up like that. Stitch it in the long around. Bring it around town. But yeah. So, in the future, if I do any more deconstructions on some boots, I'm definitely going to uh, metal. I will definitely try and get a little bit better spot so you guys can actually see what I'm doing a little bit better on camera rather than just listening to me ramble and periodically seeing a mess of a boot being picked up in the eye shot. But 
yeah. We're, we're going for it. I needed to get at least one of these boots cut down so that I had some material to kind of get my initial pattern out for, you know, my own handmade wallet. So that's what, what we're going to do. And my wife's been getting on me about getting rid of these old turd chuckers, uh, excrement kickers, you know, them things. Surprise, this side seems like they actually add it in there a little bit tighter. A little bit better. Maybe it's just this glue that's fighting me. Right, now. now you can see inside of here, as I'm getting it, there's a blowout on that hill counter, and that is legit from from where, and that is that is through leather. That that is I legitimately ran war through leather on on the inside of that hill. So there's there's that. So. There you go, Frank. Well, you were wondering if I was joking about how bad I was when it came to causing damage. I don't remember if it was Frank Jr. or Sr. that I talked to. And I was like, dude, I can literally walk a heel literally right off of a boot. Because, I mean, it's... Look at that thing. And that is what as I've mentioned in the past, like making sure that your gate's correct to keep your back from being all jacked up. Right here, that's important. Something that doesn't help is you got little deflated pockets in your boots that as soon as it starts to go, it just goes. And this, I, I even, to try and even that out, I, I even took a knife to the side and carved that down to get the last couple of couple of uses out of it last year to mow the lawn without feeling like I was walking on the side of a hill it's so bad I don't know how I was wearing these as long as I did oh I feel like a mongoloid um there is I will say this um now that I've got this torn down um in here I'd like to <sighs> difficulty is is there I've tried tearing their uh, this hill off, it's definitely, not a well, construction I'm used to, there's a full, it's plastic on rubber, let's see here, because it looks like there is an actual welt to this. So I may have been wrong earlier on when I said that these weren't an actual welted construction. Because it looks like there may be, but I think it's, I don't know. It's such, it's so hard to tell if it's, I mean, there, there appears to be at least a Blake stitch. Possibly, yeah, it looks like there, there is a Blake stitch. Um, there is a Blake stitch in these, but these soles are, they're just so bad that, and the leather itself is not... A good enough condition. I, I just, I took these even into my cobbler and he wouldn't, he didn't want nothing to do with them. 
And I had made mention about, I think I made mention about it to Frank about wanting maybe to get these relasted. So I didn't have to, you know, just totally get rid of my uncle's boots where they're at. They're not. Yeah. And that's just not. That's just not a feasible answer. Well, what I'm going to do here since I don't have the. Uh, Show you what I'm looking at here. Down in there. There actually is a welt stitch, but that really actually surprises me because I mean they had the fake screws on the front. The edge of this welt, it is definitely a plastic welt. I figured it was a completely fake welt and that the uh, it was just cement constructed. But it appears that it is possibly a Blake, a Blake stitch with a, uh, maybe a Goodyear welt, or maybe it's just a faux Goodyear welt. So we're gonna, just going to cut this boot off flush at the sole here what we're gonna do like this because I don't have the uh, I don't have the whole setup with the I don't know if you'd call it a it's a shoehorn or how you what you call that thing the lasting anvil or You guys probably know if you watch enough of the videos of, you know, Nick's or White's or Frank's where they actually are, or, in, you know, oh, what is the other ones? Wyatt and Dad, there's uh, White and Sons. Is it White and Dad's or White and Sons? They're real good. They do a lot of uh, re crafting, some real phenomenal work that those guys do. Then there's uh, Trenton and Heath. Trenton and Heath, those guys absolutely amazing work it comes out of their shop but if my my point here is is if you've watched any of that you know what piece of equipment i'm talking about it's one that you slip the boot on and then you can take and wrench on and rip all the sole right off and i don't have that and i'm not worried about saving these boots i like i've said these are getting repurposed so what I'm going to do here is this is running a lot longer than I thought. So we're going to get up here to the, uh, that is a fiber fiber uh, board in the toe cap region as well with a just a basic cotton fabric liner on the inside. I think we've gotten far enough into this that I can effectively show what the construction looks like. So here we go. Yet again, like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section. Maybe one day I will try and do some video editing skills and you'll have like a little thing over here. This button's over here. But as for right now, we just shoot it as it is. So let's look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So there actually are some nails in the heel. And there actually is a Blake stitch construction to it but the welt it's horrible the leather um i don't know where i can find a good example of of it on here that i've seen 
leather's right here, I guess, where I started tearing through. Try and get a good. Kind of see a little bit of that bluish behind that black. That's usually not the highest, highest end leather. Uh, I mean, the black's definitely dyed pretty well through, struck through on these, but there is still some of that bluing color in the, uh, in those fine top grains so unfortunately when the black on the top scratches off you get this ugly blue patina and most people when you have a nice black boot like this they, they like the the browns under it kind of like a t-core or a uh, like a chrome xl that shows under the ugly blue it's not nearly as desirable unless it's like Something that was specifically dyed blue, like, you know, like one of the double shot inks or whatever. It was cobalt blue, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. So, there it is. Heel. It's like a cheap plastic board thing up in the front even cheaper just a fiber board construction that was intended to give the toe a little bit more support than you know a soft toe but in reality it just ended up functionally working like a soft toe anyways um yeah anyways thank you for your time like share subscribe comment in the comment section